does a little bit better. Uh, but Siegel actually not going for his classic Sonic right now. INC Siegel, Dexter, uh, Siegel rocking the Diddy. So Diddy against Korn right now. We're starting on Smashville. Yeah, this matchup is weird for Diddy in like weird instances just because he lands so low to the ground like with his normal spacing tools. Like his forward air makes it really hard to get shield grab and then um, it's just a good spacing tool in general since it reaches so far and comes out so fast. Right. Considering how often the corn is definitely in the air, uh, we're sure how fares and side B even. Banana's not really a huge issue in this matchup, considering how often, like I said, corn's in the air. But it is something that she is going to have to deal with if she's tempted to, like, maybe... Because uh, he doesn't... He usually does more grounded side Bs than Cormelia. Cormelia do a lot more, like, short hop side Bs, as you saw. Yep, yep. Ooh. And we're back. Just barely living. But now, even though like Dexter's still alive, this is looking pretty bad for him right now. Every time that Joe puts out a banana, he's getting like another 15, 20%, and then getting another grab on top of that. Snowballing out of control for now. Yeah. Definitely the punish game is in favor of Seagull Joe right now. Good kick right now, reading the roll, but still has a long uh, way back is Dexter. And almost an eight, close to 80% lead right now. But closing the gap, closing the gap slowly. Ugh. Expected a little bit. Oh, okay, that's actually going to take it. I'm actually a little surprised, even though yeah, it was at 134. But yeah, I think that was like the magic percent for it. If it was any higher, he would wouldn't it would have been able to air dodge out any lower. Um, probably wouldn't have died. So luck is on the side of Seagull Joe in that in that regard. But looking to. Closes out with the two stock possibly, but I mean this is corn man. This character can take stocks out of virtually nowhere with that with that tipper lance. Yeah, it's really just like a game of shark. Any given second, any given second, that side B could just pin him and that stock, or even the bite. Nope, still living for now. Alright, jab just to get that stage control back. Dexter's doing a really good job of just um, inching his way back into this game right now. That jab spinning off stage, getting that stage control. But he just hasn't been able to capitalize off of much more. I feel like he's kind of fishing for that pin right now. Or maybe even that bite, because that definitely would sell that stock right yeah. now. Well, getting the platform with that aerial side B. And there's the banana again setting up for a fourth throw. Looking for positioning is Seagull Joe. Ooh, nice. Okay, that was a really weird interaction right there. He got the forward air, but it's still dragging down. That was weird. Yeah. I think Korn's down air just like drags you down a little bit with every single hit. So, okay. yeah, it's just weird like that. All right, and now this is getting to the 11th hour right now. Joe's just like doing a good job of just slowly choking down Dexter. Like he's not really overcommitting much, and even though he's had this lead for a long time, it doesn't feel like he's not doing anything oh, with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's just staying alive because of small size with Diddy and just slowly like constricting Dexter out. Woo! Staying in shield right now. Very very close situation right there. Possibly an up throw or maybe a down throw will be able to do it. That was so slick by Siegel. Yeah, Siegel's movement this whole time has just been so on point. Ah, uh, very, very close right there, but not getting the up smash. Ooh. Ooh, all right. Well, this is where the long the long road begins now. I mean, I kind of feel like Joe's in a better position because of that, because his rage is reset. So now he can get up throw, up air, and probably have a kill with a fresh up air. Mm -hmm. Nah, you're gone. Or just up smash. You know, tomato, yeah. tomato. Yeah, same thing. Kill Either way. Top. Bread and butter and a banana <laughs> out here taking it with the up smash. And Siegel is going to take game one with a JV2. Very, very clean by Siegel. His movement the entire game was actually very, very nice. I was very impressed. Yeah. And I like the entire time. We're just seeing like why he picked Diddy in this matchup. It's just um, the low profile, like I was saying before. The spacing and also just dropping that banana at the ledge and just letting Dexter like do the work himself. Right. Oh, <laughs> Joe screaming, not the Ness. And actually, this is a super throwback right now. Not uh, the Ness. Not the Ness. Okay, I have a lot of strong opinions about Ness. I feel like the character is really good, but without, like, foe to lead the way of, in the meta, a lot of mess, Ness names have kind of lost, like, how to play him. Like, right. the character still has a lot of strong options. He does get zoned out by quite a few characters, mm -hmm. but, like, if he grabs you, if he hits you in the air... Right. He's one of the best characters right. in the game in that regard. Right. There is a couple of Nesses in MDVA, Zeron being the most prominent one, right? But Dexter was the uh, one of the original Nesses. I mean, shouts to him, shouts to uh, um, Mick. Mick. There Mick. it is. Yep, my homie Mick. The, the, the homie Mickleback. <laughs> shouts a, to him. He had a bad pun every week. Yeah, every oh week. 
But Ness, here's if, for those of you who've forgotten about this character, I mean, one thing you've not forgotten is just the amount of damage output that this character does, man. This character it does so much damage. Forward air, side B, the, every throw. Yeah, he really has the damage output of a heavy character without, like, the, um, like... The weight. Yeah, without the weight. So he still has, like, better airspeed than almost all of and that was a nice conversion right there by Dex. That movement was very, very slick. Dex was showing he has a little bit of movement of his own, but that banana is going to lead into a forward air, and now Dexter on the back foot, losing a lot of stage control. I like that magnet just to rise him up a little bit and let him get the sweet spot on that ledge. Not enough Nesses do that. They kind of lost track of how to use the magnet for a long time. All right, there's the dash track. PK Thunder to cover the landing, but not going to do it. It gets him off him, though, at the very least. Oh, and that angle. Yeah, you want that banana roasted, bro? I got you. Delicious. Now, for someone who dropped their nest a long time ago, this nest is looking yeah. pretty clean. This is, this is what we call the friendlies character. Yeah. We're like, he doesn't play it in tournament, but like in case he ever needs it, he'll play it in friendlies a lot. Yeah, true. Keep it sharp. Yeah. Keep it hidden, too. I respect it. Good patience here. right there by Dexter, though. Just holding the shield in that up air. Not going to do it. Not just yet. We're reaching that back throw territory now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Joe's probably not going to give it to him very easy. Roll, roll, back air. Back throw. Ooh, okay. That's the axis air dodge. One, another reason why Ness is just so good, he has one of the better air dodges just because like, he dips in the Z-axis and it's so hard to hit him. Unless you've like, practiced the timing. And since right. there aren't a lot of Nesses out here anymore. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's hard to get that practice in. Nice. Yep. Conversion using his own banana against him. Single Joe losing the first stock of game number two. Yeah, and Joe's going to shake his head a bit, but spawned. Yeah, even without raids, it's going to be enough to do on Town City. Now we hear a dead even game right now, 0%, last stock on both players. But Dexter was able to get that first stock the uh, that first stock this game, so hopefully be able to convert that momentum. But Siegel Joe have a slight lead at the moment using forward air. That's not going to come through, converting to an up air. Another throw, and it begins. More Anakate. damage. No, he can't get too much more off that at this percent, but... Something else I like about Dexter's uh, nest right now is one, how he's using the down air to cancel his landing lag. He has no jump. Oh, oh. recovers high, but Joe whipping a rare punish. That was that was very risky. Dexter getting away with murder right there. Nice. In the classic spacing game yet again, the back airs, the forward airs, Seagull Joe just looking in his element. Dexter managing to air dodge through that pressure, but he doesn't really get another grab off that, but this could be the start of something. Joe's giving up a lot of stage control just to have his banana right now. 54% right now on Seagull Joe. Having a slight lead, but like we were saying earlier, the damage output from Ness is, is very, very good. Not very, very respectable, so able to close that out, but not if Seagull keeps enlarging this gap right now, but an up air is going to take that monkey flip, but I'm challenged with the forward air. Honestly, if Ness lands another aerial, specifically like up air or back air, and then gets a back throw at the ledge, that'll probably kill. I don't think Joe's going to give that to him just because of the nature of how the match is being played right now. But it's something that, oh no. Okay, back throw sends him far. Yeah. I believe he was going for a forward smash. I think, that's what I, I think I saw either a forward smash or maybe a down smash. If that was a down smash, it would have been really smart trying low profile through the forward air. By the way, Dexter's still playing with his brain to him. Ooh, the back air? Not going to do it just yet, but very, very close. I like that attempt at the nair as well. Up air going to take Ooh. it, and Dexter taking it to game number three with the Ness. Yeah, he smelled out that fear there. Um, typically, Diddy were, or um, Single Joe was trying to like roll away from the ledge or just monkey flip high. Right. Kind of a 50-50 right there, and that time Ness just called it and hit him with that big old 250 oh IQ head. That that boy got a that Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, a brain blast. Yeah, that's definitely the brain blast over here. Well, actually... Lucas's down throw to up air is the brain blast. That's what I I've been. That's what I've been calling it. For I'll like take it. Ever since Jeb started go, started entering tournaments and playing Lucas, that's what I've been calling it. I'll take it. The brain blast. But, but I mean that noggin. Mm -hmm. That's shouts to noggin. If you remember noggin, you remember noggin. Like, remember, like that was the, the like, offshoot, like Nick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the one with like all the short. Uh, like you would put noggin on if you wanted your kid to be smart. <laughs> yeah. Like if you didn't want your kid to be watching like. Legends of the Hidden Temple or anything like that, but you want him watching like Little Einsteins, you put on you put it on uh, get, uh, Noggin. I mean, that was a pretty good channel, though. Either way. Yeah. But now we got the run back. 
Dexter choosing to switch or uh, stay with his Ness right now. And I respect it. The way that his Ness was playing that last game, he looked really comfortable right. on it. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't switch it. Uh, are, you su are you surprised with the uh, with the stage selection right now? They have to, to go back. Not really. Uh, I know that Joe loves the stage for Diddy, right. so, yeah. Ooh, okay, but Joe out here coming in kind of manhandling Dexter a little bit. Already at a 70%. Ooh, 70%, excuse me. Oh, no. That was so scary because yeah. if Ness had grabbed and just back thrown him, he was dead. He was super dead. He probably they probably both would have died. But you know, when you're getting clapped like this, right. it's probably worth it. Right. I, I like, it's one of these small adjustment things. But Joe is using uh, back air more than forward air this game, and he's getting a lot of mileage out of it because it's a different range, a different timing. It's kind of throwing Dexter off. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's those small adjustments to gameplay. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's indicative of how Seagull Joe's been playing this game for a very long time. He's able to make that small adjustment and make it very effective. It's amazing how that small adjustment could net him so much of a lead this game. Like, if you had told me that this was game three, I would have been like, wait, how? <laughs> just because, like, Joe is just controlling the entire pace of the match, and poor Dexter can't even get his feet on the ground for more than 20 seconds without right. getting thrown off stage. All right, 100% deficit right now, and see again with the back airs. Nice. Ooh. Option coverage right there, catching him with that air dodge, and now, yeah, and there wasn't a lot ooh. he could do there. Super Bowl Sunday, not going to be it. The fact that he can re those magnet hands are insane. I know that's ri <laughs> like, actually like, ridiculous. Like I was about what? to say that's actually ridiculous. Like what? Yeah, for such short, stubby arms, this man is. This reaching. boy is reaching. <laughs> All right, back throw. Still not going to do it. One hundred eighty-two percent though. And you can't really play with your food, um, like, with Ness, because if that character hits you, people forget okay. how hard some of this or some of these characters' moves hurt. Right. That's actually going to come through. Already at 60%. Definitely Basically, at this point, Dexter's just trying to get as much percent as he possibly can. He's doing a great job of it, building up so much percent, just remotely unanswered, reaching a little bit with that down smash, but... Down smash, smash? too, but... Still alive oh. at 195%. Let's go, Dex. Definitely the biggest head of all time. Mm -hmm. Weighing him down. Oh, I like the weight. And oh, no. Oh, my God. That, that man was almost blown back. That would have been insane. But the monkey kick, not going to do it. And Ness is still alive at 208%. And I this can't is like even town and this. city. Yeah. The stage, the stage is so notorious. Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Three Dexter. minutes of work for Seagull Joe down the drain because right, he couldn't right, finish right, his play, right, and now we got an even game yet again. All right, all right. Let's get this out of here. Take out the trash a little bit. We're here for the even game, but Seagulls cannot afford to play with this food, like you were saying. That cost him the whole stock. Yeah. He was, he was ahead by so much, and then he essentially threw it away. He was ahead. At that point, he was ahead by like 120%, roughly. Probably like 100-ish, but still. I mean, I mean, that's not something that we're actually known for Seagull. I mean, Seagull usually finishes his food, mm -hmm. so apparently this boy ate dinner already. I mean, he's probably filling up on like bananas and peanuts right now. Okay, here we go. And it begins the damage factory. Nah, it doesn't get much more off that. The power shield on the Nair is going to get Seagull Joe that stage control he needs. But now at this point, I feel like every time that Dexter trades, he's kind of coming out on top just because Ness's uh, aerials do so much damage. Right. So if he keeps on like staying in Seal zone and forcing his trades, he could probably worm his way back into this. Oh my god. Well, the jab lock, and that could have been it. Ooh, okay. Fourth throw gonna come through from Dexter. The spacing is looking nice right now. Dexter's on his last life. The back throw is not gonna do it. Still alive, but what's the mix-up right now? He has to PK Thunder back on stage. Banana's still there. Diddy's still there. And there and it is, clipping. The fact that Dexter was on the ledge for a little bit too long, clipping him with that back air, that small adjustment, like we were saying, oh, using back air. And Dexter's gonna be sent packing to the loser's bracket.